Hey, just a quick tutorial here today. Um, I had an interesting question pop into my head as I was playing with the ocean modifier. Um, I was wondering how easy it would be to make an object bob or float on the ocean. So I did a little experimentation with it and I thought it came out kind of nice in a quick sort of way and I thought I'd share what I learned. So I'm just going to start with my default cube here. I'll go over to my modifier stack and add an ocean modifier to the default cube and I'm going to play with the settings here to just kind of make the ocean look a little bit better. Let's go with an established ocean with sharp peaks and then really quickly I'm going to animate the movement of the ocean so we'll start on frame one with a time value of 1, so I'm going to keyframe that and go all the way to the end, frame 250, and I'll put a time value of 10 since that's roughly 10 seconds and keyframe that there. And you can see that I've got kind of a nice ocean movement going here. However, um, it eases in and eases out of its values so it speeds up at the beginning and slows down at the end so let's take care of that really quick with our two keyframes selected down here in the timeline we'll right click go to our interpolation mode and change that to linear and that will make it so that it just moves at a constant rate for the entire time that it's playing which is obviously a little more like a real ocean alright so next we need an object to kind of bob along on the surface. So I'm going to uh, eventually try to make a sphere float kind of like it's a ball or something. But first I'm going to create an empty. So Shift A, go down to your empties here. I'm just going to make a plane axis empty. And that's fine. Right now it's just set on the origin point of our scene. That's okay. We can move it anywhere we want really. Then I'm going to go over to my object constraints and I'm going to give this empty a shrink wrap modifier. You can probably guess what that's going to do if I target our cube, which we might as well re rename this cube to ocean. So we're targeting our ocean here. And if I hit play now, you can see that the empty kind of behaves the way a floating object would um, but it jerks to the side a little bit as our geometry moves around it jerks to the in the x and y axis and really we just want it moving in z so that's one of the reasons um, that we're using an empty here we kind of need this intermediate translation to, to happen so I'm going to now add our actual visible floating object we're going to use a UV sphere for that and we'll just place it right in there with the empty. And with the UV sphere, we're going to add a constraint as well. So I already have my constraints tab open over here. And I'm going to copy the location of our empty, but only in the Z axis. And this isn't quite what we need yet, but it's going to be pretty close. So if we hit play now, you can see that that bobs up and down pretty nicely with the surface, but maybe a little too rigorously. So first of all, um, I sort of picture this object as being a little bit heavier so that it won't be like exactly 50% submerged. So I check this little box offset and move the object in the Z axis. That allows me to kind of move it relative to its constraint target, which is the empty. So now it will seem a little heavier and also I'm going to turn the influence of this copy location constraint down a little bit and maybe just kind of allow that to sink in and sink out and that's actually pretty nice it's probably not perfectly accurate um, there's probably, you know, some of these node wizards out here can probably figure out a way to make this really accurate and, and a lot better than this. But just for kind of a quick and dirty 
um, effect this is sort of nice that I don't have to try to keyframe this object and follow what's happening with the with the uh, action on the surface of the ocean here so that's a really quick tutorial just kind of a little technique that I've been playing with and if I come up with an improvement I'll post an update to the tutorial here thanks very much for watching and happy blending